Today we're talking all about bog bags. Hey guys, welcome back to my page. I'm Nicole and today we're talking all about how I pack my bog bags. This video is highly requested. But we'll take a look at how they're packed, how they're stored, how much they weigh, and so much more in this video. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and let's jump right in. All right, let's get started. There are two sizes in bog bags. There's the baby bog, and there is the original size bog. And the original size bog is weighing in over three pounds while it's totally empty. But let me tell you why I love this bag. These bags are structured, so they're going to stay open at all times. They are so easy to clean. I love that they have this tread on the bottom. They're just industrial. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like you are not going to mess it up and it's so easy to throw it around, use it for the beach, use it for sports, use it for all seasons and that's really what we do. One other thing I wanted to note is that the aftermarket for bog bags is huge. So you can go on Etsy and find little charms like you'll see on some of my bags. You can even find handle grips that go around the top handles that help keep it closed, um, which I do have one of those as well and I highly recommend. Um, and I just love them because you can also just like hang your hats off of them, hang your floaties off of them. There's so many ways to stay hands-free when using a bog. So let's jump in and let me show you how I have my two bog bags packed up for a trip to the beach. Let's go ahead and get started with the original bog bag. This is how we have it set up for the beach. And I want to give you a couple of misses with the bog bag, things that I was not crazy about before we get started. These little pouches come with the original bog. There's a small one and a large one. I used my Cricut to uh, monogram them, but I am just disappointed in the quality of them. You'll see here they have these little snaps. Mine have broken over time, actually one on each one has broken and so I've replaced them with these other bags that I highly, highly recommend. They're super inexpensive. You can find them on Amazon. Let me show them to you. Okay, here is what I'm talking about. These are waterproof nylon bags. They come in a pack of 16 and I love these. They're durable. I usually use these for board games and sorting puzzles and things when I'm at home, but they are perfect for your beach bag. So in this miscellaneous pouch, this is the only one I don't have labeled. I have things like, a little neck fan for when it gets super hot out there, a hairbrush, um, I have some sunglasses, I have a couple of lion latches. These take care of your jewelry while you're out at the beach so you don't lose any of them. I have a wet bag, I have some Kleenex, and I have this little collapsible beach pillow too. So that is what is in this bag. Depending on how long we'll be at the beach, I always bring a cooler. This is a great place to put snacks, drinks, and more, and I always, always take this with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. If you do take this out, you can replace this empty space with towels. This bog bag can hold, I wanna say almost eight towels, two, four, six, eight eight towels across depending on the size of your towel and this big space right here could easily hold four. So keep that in mind. I also have a full size first aid kit because you never know what might happen when you're out at the beach. I love the super kit. It has a little place where you can hang it if you needed to and it really just has everything you could possibly need in the event of an emergency. Next, you'll see more of these nylon bags. Check this out. So in this first one, I have it labeled beach toys. These are just going to be toys that the kiddos play with at the beach. In the next bag, I have it labeled with the label swimsuits. I think they'll also use this as a wet bag. When they're done with the swimsuit, they can just put their wetsuits right in here. Inside the goggles pouch, I just have goggles for all of my kiddos, including these really cool ones for my daughter. They do not get tangled in her hair. She loves these. The next pouch is my sunscreen pouch, and it is packed to the brim with sun protection for the whole entire family. I have a couple of different ways to put sunscreen on my kiddos. The Solar Buddies is our absolute favorite. I've mentioned this in a few videos. I also like to bring a beauty blender and our sunscreen because my daughter thinks that she's putting on makeup that way and it's just a lot less of a hassle. I have a hand sanitizer from Touchland, a mosquito stick, another sunscreen stick. I have the new Tubby Todd Mineral Mist SPF 50 sunscreen and then I have some sun protection for our lips too. All of that is in this little pouch. All right, I have three other little pouches down here in the bottom, and these are just for the kids to put their seashells in. So I have one for Ty, I have one for 
L, and then I have one for Jake. Um, my kids love to collect shells and bring them home, so these little pouches are perfect for that. But that is what I had inside the original bog bag. You can see it's very spacious. I will put on the screen the dimensions. There you go. Let's take a look at the baby bog. Okay. First off, how cute is the baby bog? I love the hot pink color. I think it is so precious. Um, and in here, I just have a couple little things. I have some bubbles for my daughter. Let's be real, it's for all the kiddos. I also have my Owala water bottle in here. Separately, I have one and two beach towels. Typically, my children keep up with their own towels at the beach, but I have them just in case. And then I have this little beach bag. Put your necessities in the middle, and then you can just grab it and go. And it fans out so that sand cannot get trapped in the bag. Isn't that so cool? Um, and that was what was in the baby bog. Now it does come with this little pouch, the one that I said I wasn't totally crazy about. I just have some mosquito repellent wipes in there. And then over here on this other side, like I had mentioned at the beginning of the video, I love that you can just hang things off of the bog bag handles. So I have my hat on here, and then I also have this little monogram tassel um, with my initials on it. But there's a quick look at the baby bog. Let me put the handles down and give you a quick side-by-side -side with the original. There is a quick side-by-side -side right there. And the, the question did come up, how do I store them when I'm not using them? We tend to use these year round for sports, um, but I store them inside of each other just like this and in our mud room. We have a little um, area where we keep our shoes and things and I just keep it right in there. So they don't collapse, they are very structured and they don't fold or anything like that. Um, I think that's one of their benefits, but when storing them, I could see how they could take up some space, but I just store them inside one another and um, yeah, we use them year round for sports. So there you go, that is how both of my bags we're packed up for the beach. So bog bags are a favorite at our house. I know they'll be a favorite at yours too. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out this one too. I know that you'll love it and I will see you over there.